Hi, so today let's make a kawaii portable game console like this one. I chose a pixel brush, but you can use any brush you want. So I select a gray color, but then I, I kind of change this. I'm using here an isometric grid and I'm helping myself with the drawing assist to get straight lines along the grid. If you want to know more about how to use the isometric grid, please check the video here in the link. So with the assist, it's very easy to create the straight lines and then you have to turn off the drawing assist in the layer option to draw the curves. As you can see, it's not the first one, the first line I draw, so be patient. Then I selected the three colors I want in my isometric drawing. So normally a uh, rule of thumb is you select the main color as a kind of bright one for the top and then you select a uh, not so bright of the same hue uh, to one side and then one even darker to the other side. It's up to you where do you want the light coming from but I normally use this as a rule of thumb. For creating the circles, I recommend you to use the distort option and then you can also adjust it um, as you want. Here I'm creating like the baseline of all the buttons and then we're gonna go and move to the depth. These ones, for example, are the speakers. So these are not buttons, these are going down and not up. So in here, I didn't like too much the, um, the cross button or also called the arrow buttons. So I kind of had trouble at the beginning like placing the actual size. I think because of the width of my brush. So I kind of changed a little bit the width to match it. I did like three layers in this and here I'm repeating the process with a thinner brush. I think it was easier for me to understand it this way and yeah, I made some mistakes here, but you can learn by watching and maybe not repeating them, like here. I had to erase part of the button. Okay, so in another layer, um, below, the, below this layer, you can add then the color. Again, I actually did a mistake here and I put a darker color to the left side. And if you see the body is actually not like that, the body has the darkest color to the right. So yeah, we have to keep it consistent here, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's uh, continue the video and now you learn from my mistakes. And here and in another layer, I try the right side. It's very convenient to use the drawing assist, as you can see, for straight lines and it really helps you to like build this um, three-dimensional but not 3D because it's isometric drawing idea. I really wanted to use this like pixel brush because it's, I mean, it's all the school pixel games in a game console well, kind of made sense for me. Write in the comments if you play some of these games or if you had a console. I actually didn't have this one, I had another one. So here I'm creating on the top layer, like, um, like a small hole in the middle of the button that some console had in the middle, or like some game controls, they have that kind of to give you um, the knowledge that is the center of the button. So now I'm duplicating both buttons to make my process easier for the isometric drawing. So I just duplicate and check the below layer, select a darker color, and then complete the drawing by just creating the lines. And now you can see that is the isometric look. You can even get more specific and put the darker color to the right in this sense, but I didn't do it. I kind of like it this way, in a sense. And then the other buttons I did the same, just um, duplicate the layer, put the layer a bit down, and select the darker color. For the speaker though, it's different because we are not having a button that comes up, but uh, the lines are going in, right? So you select a 
darker color and draw inside. Then what I do here is like I select all my layers because I want to change the background. You can select the background layer alone instead of dropping the colors, but I sometimes like to place texture and things. So that's why I created like this. I, I was actually looking for a texture at the beginning, but then I realized I will keep the flat colors for this one. And the face is a kawaii face from my kawaii face kit. If you want to draw it by hand, that's, that's fine. And if not, if you are interested in the kit, it's below and check the code right here in the video for a discount. And as I told you at the beginning, I chose the gray color, but then I noticed it uh, doesn't look that good. So I decided to complete the faces and actually have a lighter color on the top, even almost like it's not white, white, but closer to white. And then complete the other layers. Now what I like to do normally is to center my drawing. Oops, I had some line there to erase. So now what I'm doing here is I'm going to smooth a little bit the two colors in the border. And for this, you can use any soft as much uh, um, brush. You don't have to use a strong one. And I use the selection tool for this. I recommend using the alpha lock so you don't mess with the rest of the drawing around. And as the same I did with the buttons, this time I duplicate the base and use the adjustment layer, place the brightness to dark, and then you apply the Gaussian blur and reduce the opacity of the layer. Now it looks like it's floating. And that's how it looks in blue. Then I actually kind of didn't like it at the moment, but now I do like it. What do you think? Do you prefer the blue or the last color that is like purple? Let me know in the comments. I will try to make a slower video, like actual step by step. If you're interested, please comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.